Why, hello. It has been a while. It is your girl, Cammie Patton, a.k.a. the singer song. Wait, guys, really quick. I just need to let you know that I just put out a new song called Overkill. It actually has some electronic stuff that is similar kind of to K-pop. Kind of. I think you might really like it, so please check it out. Okay, carrying on. Spider, the cat mom extraordinaire. And as we know it, hello, hi, I'm Lisa's wife. <laughs> but today we are not reacting to Blackpink. I'm not even reacting to K-pop. Today we're going J-pop. Metal J-pop. That's right, baby. Finally, another baby metal. Ah, that's right, baby. I did not mean that pun, but what's up? Another baby metal reaction. I'm very excited. Listen, I've only done one baby metal reaction, and that is the only baby metal song I've listened to so far, because I've been waiting to do another reaction. It, I did not know, know it would take me this long, that it would take you. I'm a full-time musician, okay? Time is of the essence. Also, by the way, I'm in LA, and right now we're experiencing Hurricane, hur, hurricane Hillary. Hur, hurricane, yeah, you heard that right. So hopefully my power doesn't go out while I'm filming this. Anyways, that would be pretty metal, honestly. <laughs> Baby metal. I've only listened to one song and reacted to it. It was called Gimme Chocolate, which I learned because of you guys. They were actually like 14 and 15 when they made that song. So I was a bit confused. I was like, why does this sound so young? It's because they were so young. A bunch of you guys recommended I do this song, Maggots to, Maggots to, Meg it soon. Meg it soon. A bunch of your guys' comments said it's like the baby metal song and it's like the gateway song into baby metal. Oh wait, this one was released in 2014 and Gimme Chocolate was released 2013. So they're probably still very young for this song. But because so many of you guys recommended that I react to this song, I'm going to do this one this time. And let me know in the comments like what's a more recent song that I should react to because I want to hear like their more matured sound. Meg it soon. Baby Metal official video. Isn't it crazy that a hurricane is coming through LA? Also, we had an earthquake today. <laughs> the same day a hurricane is... Too many apocalyptic vibes. At least if the power goes out, I have a bunch of podcasts and audiobooks saved, like downloaded on my phone, so I won't even need Wi-Fi to listen to them, because Audible has that option, and they are also the fabulous sponsor for this video. That was a smooth transition, wasn't it? <laughs> I freaking love Audible, so really quick, let me tell you about them and then we'll get to baby metal. Cammy? Why, thank you, Cammy. So, Audible. I have been talking about Audible, I think, for five years. I've been using them maybe for six or seven, and I will continue to do so because I freaking love them. Personally, I have a very on-the-go lifestyle, which is why I love Audible, because you have basically any audiobook and podcast at your fingertips. You can listen to Audible across multiple devices, like your computer or the app on your phone, and they have literally thousands of different titles you can listen to. They are literally the home of storytelling. Any genre you think of, they have it, whether it's celebrity memoirs, self-help, wellness, fiction, uh, what other genres are there? I don't know, but if you thought of it, they have it. Like, I've listened to Ozzy Osbourne's autobiography, The Body Keeps Score, Never Finished by David Goggins, and right now I'm listening to Atomic Habits by James Clear. I have like 30 minutes left. How Audible works is you get a membership, and then every month you get a credit, which equates to one title, but a lot of times my credits roll over, so I usually don't run out. And your membership gets you unlimited access to Audible Originals, to podcasts. They even have other forms of audio entertainment, like they had a singing show on Audible. They also have a series called Words and Music. There's just so many options to choose from. And for me, the best part is you can listen anywhere while you're cleaning the house, while you're stuck in traffic, or while you're on a walk, or you can download it directly on your phone, like I was saying earlier, and listen to it while on a plane, or if your <laughs> power goes out in the middle of a hurricane. Like I said, I've been using Audible for like seven years, so I'm a really big fan. I've been entertained by Audible, I've been educated by Audible, I've been motivated. So, if you would like to try out Audible for the first time, you can actually text Cami P to 500-500 or go to audible.com slash P to get a free 30-day trial. So thank you again, Audible, for sponsoring this video. And y'all, Baby Metal, I just reacted to Baby Metal and then filmed, they're freaking crazy. I. Cammy, thank you, Cammy. Okay, Meg it soon. I will say, preface this by saying baby metal, I find them fascinating and impressive, but also very confusing. But I love that. I love the confusion because it's it's unique, it's different, it's fresh, but I am I let's see if I'm equally confused this one as I was the first time listening to them. Ready, three, two, one, go. Oh, starting off strong already.
school at 16. Are you fucking kidding me? You're telling me at 15 and 16 they are making music that's this heavy and sick? And I think you guys told me in the comments, like, it was their idea. Because they wanted to make metal music that heavy, which, like, how are they so cool? Also, already, this one has so much more melody and, like, incorporation with the metal. I feel like Gimme Chocolate, like, oscillates back and forth between, like, the J-pop and the metal. But this one is, like, melded together a bit more. Science. Wait, let me put on the captions. I don't- oh, there's no captions. We'll look at lyrics afterwards. But this is beautiful. Also, like, I, I said this last time, but I used to be, a, like, a full-fledged metalhead. I used to listen to only metal. This is a lot more heavy metal than their first- or the first song I listened to, Gimme Chocolate. Like, it, I'm- I'm- I'm flabbergasted. This is, they're 15 and 16! And they're so adorable and cute. Part of my brain is like, I don't understand. <laughs> girls' ideas because idea because it's so heavy and dirty and like metal as fuck and they're so cute with this really pretty voice but the fact that they're so young and cute too it just it's really wild to witness honestly and so cool also really cool that it's like I think like traditional Japanese style which is cool just like staying to their culture but also like going against their culture because I, I'm pretty sure like, metal doesn't normally go with, like, the kawaii vibe, right? I'm gonna back up a little bit because I heard some gnarly guitar about to come in and I am fucking excited for that. <laughs> Screaming? Is that them screaming? I have never been envious of like a 15 and 16 year old before. They are so fucking cool and somehow this doesn't feel forced at all. This feels very authentic. Doesn't make any sense that they make my brain break, but it's so cool. Oh my god, and this guitar, I think it's like a bass too. It feels like oh, just so deep drop C vibes. Oh <laughs> Like this part, the like melody is so evanescency, and they're 15, 16. What the fuck? I know I'm repeating myself and I keep pausing, but this is just. I'm really glad you guys recommended this one. This one, I feel like you get more of the understanding of this. Is a, I haven't been able to finish sentences because I'm so what the fucked. I'm what the fucked. <laughs>
it's so good. Like, I'm... What the fuck? The melodies, the vocal melodies are so beautiful. And the way they are, like, floating between all the different parts of the song. And they, like, come back and leave and come back and leave between these different parts of the song. Obviously a song does that, but I feel like they're doing it extra seamlessly. It feels like a journey where you're like going back and forth, which metal usually is like that. Everything is so metal about this, except that they're like adorable Japanese girls. So it's like, it's just so cool, so cool. <laughs> Bro, I want to watch that again and that, what the, first of all, I need to read the lyrics, okay. Dressed up Miss Fox waves her twin ponytails in the air. She pops and vanishes, let her show her various aspects. Okay, this makes more sense because it sounds more like a 16 year old girl vibe. Ancient maidens, you dance in, in the transient dream, getting over a thousand years you live today. Okay, that sounds less 16 year old, more like a... Victorian woman? Ah, girls are becoming more like an ideal woman. Smiling at face, crying at heart. Saying, it's right, we never show our tears. Ooh, is this like a feminist anthem? Of course I know like the translation from Japanese to English is probably not identical. Megatsune, me, plus Kitsune, female fox equals vixen. Okay. Wait, a comment here is saying that baby metal gets backlash from like conservative metal heads that say that they aren't metal when we just listen to this song. They're freaking metal. But they want to say like, oh, they're just masquerading. Oh, hey dude. They're just masquerading and not actually being metal. So it's kind of playing into that, oh, we're Megatsune. Like we're just charming you into believe. What do you have to say? You don't understand English or Japanese. So I'm wondering if the meaning of the song is like a clap back to haters being like, oh, you're not really metal. Or it's just like being like a charming, Bad bitch villain era against the men, which is crazy if they made a villain era song like in 2014. Wait, a comment says basically the song is about how they look cute but are actually metal AF. For real. And that concept, it trips me out because I need to I need to watch interviews of them. Like, is this fully their idea? Is it how much of the songwriting did they play into? Not that I'm doubting them at all. I'm more so fascinated. Like the drums go so hard, guys. And the guitar, of course, but the drums, I was like, Jesus, god damn! They are probably so cool live. Actually, a lot of you guys commented being like, baby metal, the actual experience is like, you gotta see them live. Anyways, thank you guys so much for recommending that I react to this song because now I understand them a bit more. Also, who is screaming in it? Because there was screams, I think, during the bridge. So I'm wondering if it's one of the girls. Thank you guys for watching this video and also being so patient between videos. Like I said, I'm a full-time musician, so I just don't have as much time to make videos anymore, but when I have time, I love to, and especially for baby metal. Please let me know some more baby metal to react to, especially some like modern songs of theirs. I would love to hear their evolution as artists. Also, don't forget, if you want to try Audible for the first time, you can text CAMIP to 500-500 or go to audible.com slash CAMIP and you'll get a free 30-day trial. And my love, just kidding, you get that anyways. I love you guys. I will see you guys next time. And uh, peace, love, rock and roll, and motherfucking baby metal. Let's go.